Southwest Florida's news source. This is Fox 4 News at 6. You're a criminal. Um, criminals go to jail. Developing now on Fox 4 News at 6, a Fox 4 exclusive. How authorities are closing in on the driver involved in a deadly hit and run in North Fort Myers. Plus. They uh, stole my phone I left on the counter, my iPad, my laptop. A Southwest Florida homeowner allegedly cleaned out by a pair of women posing as maids. How they were caught and how to keep this from happening to you. Plus. We've become really obsessed with standardized testing in this country. Too much testing? Why Lee County Superintendent is calling for drastic changes to your kids' exam schedule. But first. Well, we are watching the skies as rain has finally returned to the forecast. Doppler radar starting to clear out. Showers making their way to the east coast of our state. The question is, will the rain be coming back? And thanks for joining us for Fox 4 News at 6. I'm Amy Wegman along with our chief meteorologist Derek Beasley with your weather first on Fox. Hey, Derek. Well, Amy, uh, that's right. It looks like we are going to be seeing a few showers here across the area for this evening, mainly for our inland counties. We still have some showing up on the radar now, but most of the rain, though, should wind down later on this evening into tonight, but we're expecting more here for tomorrow. As we take a look at live radar, we're tracking some of that rain now through sections of DeSoto County up around Arcadia. Uh, some showers and storms there also moving out of Glaze County into uh, uh, sections of uh, Hendry County. Uh, you can see they're actually moving out of Hendry County into Glaze County, I should say, and also through Inland Collier County as well, moving across Alligator Alley. Temperatures right now into the 70s and 80s. It looks like through this evening, skies mostly cloudy, a few isolated showers. The latest on rain chances for your Good Friday and holiday weekend coming up. For your corner following breaking news in Lee County right now, the county losing a federal lawsuit filed by three former employees. They claimed that they were wrongfully fired for blowing the whistle on the county's economic development office. Now, this all comes uh, over the way that the county handled a grant for VR labs. The company never made good on a promise to turn the county's $5 million investment into more than 200 local jobs. The $1.2 million verdict against Lee County is a victory for Eileen Schumann, John Bryan.